Peace everybody back with another video and this one is about was Jesse Smollett telling the truth? Chicago police chief fired. So as you know, I have been doing a lot of videos about Jesse Smollett because uh, earlier this year in January, he um was allegedly attacked by two brothers that um while he was at, at a subway thing or whatever, or walking home from a subway or whatever, and the police chief, Eddie Johnson, and the mayor at the time, Rahm Emanuel, saying that he was lying and they was not there on January 29th that, that night. The case against actor Jesse Smollett is getting more and more strange. The Empire actor claimed that he was attacked by a group of racist Donald Trump supporters causing a nationwide manhunt. So, uh, Jesse Smollett used to be an Empire, but not anymore because Lee Daniels told him that he was fired or they had to fire him because, and now there were rumors going around saying that Jesse Smollett was going to make a cameo appearance and of course that never happened so all these rumors was not true at all they just like to stir up the hype and everything but the Chicago police led by Superintendent Eddie Johnson investigated the claims and concluded that Jesse Smollett was lying they charged the actor and called his story a hoax. Now, Superintendent Eddie Johnson was not there that night. He wasn't. He was who knows where. Somewhere, maybe at a donut shop. Who knows? Um, he's saying that investigated the claims and concluded that Jesse Smollett was lying. They charged the actor and called his story a hoax. I do not believe the Chicago Police Department at all. I really don't because they have a habit of lying on their police report when the truth was really there. And they're saying that he, and now he's saying that they called his story a hoax. I don't believe it because I believe Jesse Smollett, he's been maintaining his innocence. He never changed his story at all. The body cameras came out with the video showing Jesse Smollett with the rope around his neck. And it also had bleach poured on him, too. Yesterday, Superintendent Eddie Johnson was unexpectedly fired just weeks before he was set to retire. That firing ended a rocky three-year tenure as the head of a police department mired by controversies none larger than what happened with Jesse Smollett yeah, so he was unexpectedly fired just weeks before he was set to retire and of course superintendent Eddie Johnson is 60 years old um, so it was time for him to retire but Mayor Lightfoot decided to fire him instead because he kept um, giving these different narratives about everything and he was dishonest with her. Mayor Lori Lightfoot announced Eddie's firing yesterday and suggested that it was Johnson's personal failures that caused him, caused her to fire him, I'm sorry. She didn't mention the Jesse incident by name but it was implied. So, yes, Mayor Lightfoot announced Eddie's firing yesterday, um, but she never mentioned anything about Jussie Innocent by name, but it was implied. Upon a thorough review of the materials of the Inspector General's ongoing investigation, it has come clear that Mr. Johnson engaged in a series of ethical laughs that are intolerable. Lightfoot said in a statement ahead of a news conference in which she rebuked Johnson for his conduct. Yeah, so she 
rebuked Johnson for his conduct because she wasn't going to hear it anymore because he kept changing, I don't know, kept telling different stories, I guess. I don't know. Um, and upon a thorough review of the materials of the Inspector General's ongoing investigation, it has become that clear that Mr. Johnson engaged in a series of ethical laughs that are intolerable. So Lightfoot wasn't going to tolerate this anymore. So she's had enough of it. She decided, well, it's time for me to fire Eddie Johnson, and that's what she did. Eddie Johnson intentionally lied to me several times, even when I challenged him about the narrative that he shared with me. She later said he maintained that he was telling the truth. I now know defensively that he was not. So Eddie Johnson was not telling the truth at all. And then, because he was dishonest with her. She also said that he maintained that he was telling the truth, but he wasn't. Um, Eddie Johnson intentionally lied to me several times, even when I challenged him about the narrative that he shared with me. And this is what she said. So he, she was challenging him about the narrative, about what happened. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't even telling the truth at all. Jossie is currently suing the Chicago Police Department for slander. His team claims that they uncovered damaging documents against members of the Chicago Police. We now have to consider what if Jossie was telling the truth all along. Yes, you have to ask yourself, what if Jesse was telling the truth all along? He would not lie about nothing. This is why the Chicago Police Department is corrupt, because they hide the truth. They write on their police report, well, Jesse was um, lying about his hoax attack. Jesse was not telling the truth and blah, blah, blah. But now they have to consider if Jussie was telling the truth all along. They have no choice but to consider it. And if they realize that Jussie was telling the truth, then they will drop the charges. But they want to consider it first. They have to make this decision first. And of course, Jossie is currently suing the Chicago Police Department for slander. So, you know, the Chicago Police Department better start writing out checks. <laughs> Seriously. Um, his team claims that they uncovered damaging documents against members of the Chicago Police. So, that's what his team has done. They uncovered damaging documents against members of the Chicago Police. So, you know... Because the police department is not going to get away with it no more. No more hiding police reports. No more saying this and that. And anything else. So now it's time for the Chicago Police Department to wake up and start telling the truth about things. But if not, you know what's going to happen. And Jesse is suing the Chicago Police Department for slander. So they were slandering his name because Jesse Smollett has been maintaining his innocence the whole time. And this is exactly what is happening now. So hopefully now that they consider what if Jesse was telling the truth all along. So now they have to consider it. Either he was or wasn't, but if they find out he was telling the truth, then they will drop the charges. So hopefully they will take this into consideration about Jussie Smollett. Leave your comments below. I am out.